uh, as I always say, advertising is not art. Advertising solves problems. Yeah, I need a problem to be solved and uh, so that I can do an ad for, for solving it. Uh, so the, the more interesting the problem, the more interesting the ad sometimes. Uh, that's why, well, uh, I personally, uh, I have my own way of, of categorizing the ads according to the problem and the situation they are immersed uh, and also according to how they manage to, to solve it. Uh, but uh, in order to explain you this, uh, this structure, I need to explain you uh, some, uh, my own view of how I divide advertising. Uh, I, uh, I divide advertising into two categories. Uh, the first category is human advertising, and the second one is what I call artful advertising, uh, which is a difference. Um, for example, it's the same difference that could be between Hollywood movies that are full of special effects and you go to watch a Hollywood movie when you have problems, you want to forget about your life, and you go for two hours just to forget what happened in your life and then you come back to Earth. <laughs> that's, a, that's artful advertising for me. And uh, human advertising is much closer to what we will call, we, we may call the uh, independent movies, uh, are a reflection of life. Uh, you go there and you get, you get out of the movies by um, thinking, that, uh, thinking about the movie and thinking about your life and trying to understand a bit better where the world, if you want. Uh, so for me, these are the, this is a, a very big difference in advertising. There are human ads and there are artful ads. Uh, if, you, if we go a bit, um, a bit deeper, uh, the main characteristic of uh, human advertising will be that it's uh, consumer-centered. It talks about the consumer. It shows me the life of the consumer and tells the consumer that uh, uh, we understand you. No? While the artful ad uh, is uh, more about uh, the product, is look how amazing I am, look, I'm cheaper, look, I am a, a great quality, etc. So uh, for me, this, this is very important, the, the human ads and the artful ads. I would like to, to show you first uh, some human ads. Uh, uh, let's see the first one, uh, the you are football, please. Long-distance relationships can be the hardest. To the millions of fans around the world who make the Barclays Premier League what it is, we say thank you. Uh, oh, by the way, all the ads that you're going to see uh, in this presentation all are my picks from this uh, magazine, just in case. Uh, for me, this ad is a perfect example of, uh, of what I call human advertising. It shows, it's totally focused on the consumer, uh, and if you notice, uh, the goal of this ad is just to say thank you to them uh, for following the, the football, the, the Barclays uh, um, Football Cup. And uh, the way they are saying thank you to the consumer is just to show them on the screen. 
and to show them exactly as they are, the different kind of consumer, they will recognize themselves in the, in the, on the screen, well, not because they are themselves there, but it's, they know that they do these things uh, that, that the characters are doing there. Uh, it's a very real ad, and uh, that's enough for the consumer. The consumer normally is very happy to see that the brand understands them and knows how they are and explains them. Uh, so that's why I like this ad. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice one for me. Uh, that's a good example of human advertising. Uh, let's go to the next one, another very good example also. Du er tusen mil unna, og det nærmeste jeg kommer dig er dette her. Jeg vet at jeg liksom ikke har vært nede så ofte som det burde ha vært. Savner du mig da? Jeg har ikke lyst til å miste det. Vi skal ikke være den beste dame her. Er det meg? Jeg har jo tenkt å komme ned oftere da. Tenkt? Magnus, nå legger jeg på. Vent litt, Grand, ok? Ok. Til til tre. En, to, tre. Ha det! Ha det! Again, we, we, are, we are in the world of the consumer all the time. Uh, we, we don't say how amazing we are, we don't say how fast we are. It's always in the world of the consumer and we see the problem of the consumer solved. This is what the brand can do for the consumer. To show that, you have to show just the world of the consumer. Um, again, let's, let's jump to the, to the next one, to the breakup. This ship is by, says. I know I'm just your dad, and what do I know? But I could see this coming a mile off. It says he was an idiot. He wore too much hair gel and needs to pull up his jeans. He didn't deserve you. This shepherd's pie says. Useless at this sort of thing. But I give good hugs. It says, come on. Turn up lass. With real herbs and seasoning, Coleman's make proper British meals that say it all. Again, it's, uh, it's how the brand solves a problem or what the brand can do for you. Uh, or what it means for the consumer. And again, it's a situation in the world of the consumer, uh, focus on it, it's a very human act. No? Uh, and finally, uh, uh, a print ad, just to finish the human advertising examples, this, this ad is, uh, is talking about situations that happen in the life of the consumer and uh, they are showing how the product can change their lives. But it's all focused in the life of the consumer, also, always. See, to tell your boss uh, to get lost and to see your chairman, you need balls. Uh, yeah, a lot of balls. Uh, the, this, is a, this is a very, uh, um, a very, uh, very it's actually a very funny ad. Uh, and it's totally centered in the, in the consumer. No? It, it grabs their problems and solves them. Uh, that way it's, it's also a human ad. Human ads, uh, this is something that is a, is a typical misconception when I explain it, because well, it, happen, it happens that most of the examples I can, I can give, the ones that maybe the ones I like the most, uh, are serious and sad or melancholic, but no, human ads can be very funny also. It depends uh, which kind of situation you choose in the life of the consumer. Um, so yeah, this is an example of a, of a funny human ad, if you want. Uh, well, now I want, to, I want to jump to the artful advertising. Uh, as I told you, the artful advertising concentrates in talking about the product. Uh, normally it doesn't show real situations of life. And the, not always, but most of the times have to use a lot of special effects because 
if they don't uh, if they don't Im impress you by by the insight and by the uh, by by you feeling identified with what you see they will have to impress you with uh, visually or with something uh, so uh, let's go please to the first uh, example skittles come on that's enough that's a good cloud there you go hey little lady can i pay your cloud please okay it's so soft and fluff. Whoa. Easy. He doesn't like to be touched there. Well, let's go home, Freddy. Mm. Pet the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. So, you see, uh, there, there's not a, a real-life situation shown there. It's all in the world of the brand, of the product. Uh, it's, it's a totally unreal situation, so uh, that's why uh, it's basically talking about the product, not about, uh, not about the, the consumer. No? Uh, we can jump to the next one, please, the M&M's. Хочешь знать, что я сделаю с тобой? Сначала я покажу тебе она в мелкие кусочки, а потом возьму и посыплю на большую чашу с I have no idea what you're saying, but count me in. Pina Teminem for everyone. <laughs> Wait, what? So if you see uh, this commercial is, is focused, uh, even though of course it is in, it's in uh, it, it happens in, in the earth, in the planet Earth, there are Russian people there. Uh, it's focused in the problems that the character have, and the character represents the brand. So it's it's a bit selfish. Uh, well, maybe I forgot to say that artful 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 ads are a bit selfish. It's the brand talking about itself. So uh, in this case, you see that we are seeing the problem that the character who represent the brand, the problem that the character has, uh, is uh, you see I, they don't care about the problem of the consumers because they can't really these kind of products can't really solve any problem of the consumer, but uh, they told about the the, the problems that the that the brand and the product may have if, if you go in that way. Uh, uh, let's go to the next one, please. You can't tell how a tomato tastes by squeezing it. I've been pinched. Poked. Prodded. Punctured. And punctured. We've both been punctured. Sniffed. In very inappropriate places. My brother was... S squeezed to death! <laughs> Stop the abuse. Just pick Nature Sweet. For guaranteed great taste year-round, just pick Nature Sweet. Can you give me a minute? <laughs> you see, again, it's, a, it's a, an obvious commercial that is in the side of the product. You know, it, it talks about the, the problems of the ingredients of the product. It's a, it has nothing to do with the, with the people who are consuming the product. Uh, that's why it's, it's harmful. Uh, and uh, finally, for, for the final example of artful advertising, uh, it's, a, it's an ad for, for, a museum, uh, for a museum that is uh, in a bunker, so it's underground. Uh, so if you realize this ad doesn't tell you how your life will be influenced by, by it, uh, it doesn't tell you which problem it's going to solve in your life, it's just telling you that the museum is underground, <laughs> no, uh, it's, and that's it, basically. So it's talking about itself, it's not talking about you. Uh, that's a, another example of artful advertising. So, uh, well, so basically, I think, I hope it's clear uh, the difference of artful and human advertising. Because I really need you to, to have it clear so that we can jump to the next step. 
that is about the situations that the that you as a creative face uh, when having to to do an ad uh, 